Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry that Wednesday's video is getting out so late to you guys. I've been trying to do some research on the cube in Fortnite and been playing a lot of um Fortnite, so yeah. Let's uh get into the deck breakdown of Shadow Paladins and maybe there'll be a Fortnite video out later if I can get out of my way and do it, because I haven't been able to do that. So guys, we're gonna start grade threes down to grade ones. Um, I really don't see this deck being played a lot with other elves. Um, there are some cards from the trial deck, but most of the cards you're gonna find in this profile list come from the booster box besides a handful. So yeah, let's get into it. We'll start off with the main boss unit of this deck, which is Phantom Blaster Dragon. Um, he has the Imaginary Force Gift Mark. He has Counter Blast 1 and Retire 3 of your rearguards. Your opponent chooses 3 of his or her rearguards and retires them. This unit gets 15k and a crit uh, until end of turn. What's really good about this skill is you can just lather this on for every 3 rearguards you retire. Your opponent has to retire up to 3. And even if he can't, you still get the 15k and a crit. So if you have 5 Counter Blasts and you have 15 cards in hand for whatever reason... You can just slap the units onto the field and get an additional 5 crits and whatever 15 times 5 is because I can't do math right now. Um, second seal, if your opponent has no rear guards and 4 or less damage in his or her damage zone, cost Soul Blast 1 grade 3, deal 1 damage to your opponent's vanguard. Um, being that this is a grade 3 after Soul Blast, this is normally your second ride. There's no real soul charge if i remember correctly in the deck so it's just a very odd card and you're probably not going to get that skill off as often as you'd like um so the second grade three we're running is from also the booster box you could also run mordred phantom in replacement of two of him two mordreds here or replace these with them with a dark dictator why did i say mordred phantom the Dark Dictator. You can replace two of these with the Dark Dictator. You can replace the Dark Dictator here. Or you can just completely cut out all these and put in the Dark Dictator um, to save some money. But that's about the only card from the Trial Deck besides Blaster Dark and the required triggers they need to use. So let's move on to the second grade three, which is Dark Mage Bad Hadil Car. His skill is Cost Soul Blast 1. Look at the top card of your deck call it to regard or put it onto the drop zone if you if you called that unit gets 5k until end of turn and end of turn retired so you're if you're going to activate the skill you're more than likely always going to call something um piece past that it's an it's a decent card it would be either your first right it's a common so it's re readily available to the world or to you uh starting off our grade twos is the Edge Lord himself, Blaster Dark, one of my favorite cards in this deck. So it has a auto Vanguard rearguard. When placed, costs Counter Blast one. Your opponent chooses one of his or her rearguards and retires it. If your opponent has no rearguards, cost discard a card from hand, and this unit gets plus one drive until end of turn. That is phenomenal for a grade two, especially on Vanguard. Um, you're going to want to ride this if you can at, when you're at grade 2 and make sure your opponent has nothing. As soon as they see you playing Shadows though, the odds are they're going to just spam their field to prevent you from using that skill. But that means less cards in their hand, so you're gonna, so they're going to have a harder time guarding later on. Uh, I think a few decks can actually counter this, but that's besides the point. Moving on to our next grade 2 is Tragic Knight Cattlebag. Uh, when... When this unit attacks a vanguard, this unit gets 3k power until end of turn. And, uh, until end of turn, that battle for each rearguard you have more than your opponent. So if you have 5 rearguards and your opponent has zip, then you get an extra 15k. It's super good. Um, again, you could probably replace this with a couple other cards. I'll show the remaining cards from the set. But there's not a lot of versatility, so we run 3 of these guys. Moving on to Darkness Maiden... I still cannot grammar right. I am dyslexic and illiterate. I am super sorry, guys. I can, I can try, but I'm not really good. Mo Mochi, I think that's how you say that. Um, has a act once per turn cost counter blast one and call a grade one or less card from your hand to rear. Draw a card. The unit gets five k power until end of turn. 
phenomenal card. I really wish these were like a protect clan or something. That'd be hilarious if all three paladin clans were a different type. But as an overall, not a bad breakdown of grade twos. And so yeah, we run a total of eight, eleven grade twos, and then we just swamp the remaining of the game with um grade ones. So let's start off with Skull Witch. Um cost rest this unit search your deck up for up to one card with power 5000 call it to an open rigor shuffle deck this ability can only be used up to one time each turn even with cards with the same name so you can only use her skill once so there's no point of calling two of her um or use it calling a separate one of her you could probably search out one of the other grid ones in the deck or lower actually you can't so just i guess spam her um, moving along to our next is Abyss Router. Um, so, when placed, cost Soul Blast 1, call a grade 0 card from hand to draw a card. Just fueling your hand. We run 3 of her. We will run 1 Nightmare Painter. When placed, cost put a grade 1 or less card from your hand to the drop zone into Soul. And put a put a card grade 1 or less from your, from your drop zone into Soul. I don't know why I said hand. Call this... This, and this unit gets 3k until end of turn. I, like I said, I'm super illiterate right now. Um, Black Sage Car Corn. When placed due to an ability of one of your cards, cost Soul Blast 1, Counter Blast 1, and this unit gets 3k until end of turn. Um, or is that Counter Charge? Counter Charge 1, sorry. Counter Charge 1 and get 3k until end of turn. I was gonna ask, why is that skill so bad? Uh, next we have. Uh, Blaster Javelin, a classic card. When placed, if you have two or more grade one or less rear guards, cost, counter blast one, draw a card, this unit gets 3k until end of turn. So just straight ramp on the field. And moving on, uh, so we had to use Flash Shield Assault for this because we don't have a good image for the um, guard trigger for grade zeros yet, nor has the what I'm using been updated with it. So yeah. So we're running four criticals, eight draws, four heals, and the starter. So cards that you are required to run in this deck no matter what are at least four criticals from the trial deck, four heals, and what comes after that is up to you guys personally. So you could run the four draws or you can run the four uh, regular draws and replace, eight, replace some units in your grade one lineup with the grade one guard pgs honestly these normally only cost about two dollars three dollars four dollars so i just say buy your play set of pgs um i do like the eight draw theme of this deck because you only run six grade threes so it helps um it just allows you to make sure you have a plentiful row uh rear guards the only thing i don't like about it is their shield which is so low but yeah, so that's the main core deck for the V-Series. We have a couple other cards, like I had stated. You have Mordred Phantom. But uh, let's take a look at some of the other stuff. And like I said, this is a thing in Tabletop Simulator, which the creator updates. So besides Mordred, we also have this guy, the Cursed Lance. We have the Knight of Darkness. We have Blaster Dagger. Um, here we go. Um, we got full fold bow. We got smashing knight. We got the PG. We got the vanilla grade two. We got the uh, witch. There's just a lot of. There's not many extra cards you can run. So, um, I just wait for diff fights. Um, deck profile. He normally goes down the most. He goes down the cheapest deck and then how to modify it from there to make it better, which will probably end in the end result of this deck right here. If you guys would like to see other decks from AL4, please let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.